What's up YouTube, it's Vapor Monkey, and I'm back to bring you a review of the NI200 nickel coils for the Aspire Triton sub-ohm tank. As of right this second, I'm vaping on some Game Over uh, from Flawless by Lung Candy. Um, I'm going to be doing a review on this alongside another product that I'm going to be reviewing either this weekend or next weekend, so keep an eye out for that. But um, it's a really interesting vape, and it's a... Uh, Two, two milligram nicotine vape. So yeah. Anyway, uh, this isn't about this. So let's get down to it. All right. So basically, I've been vaping the nickel head coils for about a week now, and just nonstop every day at work, out of work. I'm on my day off. I'm vaping them. In between dripping everything just really stressing these coils out all different variations of temperatures and jewels and just trying everything and um, I have to say I am honestly in love with these um, some people aren't the biggest fan of the nickel coil because of the taste they say it gives them and you know some are completely in love with nickel coil and it's all they vape in RDAs as well as sub tanks and so on and so forth me, on the other hand, I love to build with A1 Canthal, even low res wires like Anarchist Wire or G Plat. But I have to say, honestly, these nickel head coils for this sub tank are freaking amazing. Now, I'm new to the temperature control game, but I have to tell you, they are one hell of a unique type of a vape. It takes some getting used to. Um, I'm vaping on this Segeli TC mod. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to a video of an unboxing I did of it, as well as a full review video that I did of it. But anyway, um, back to the coils. Basically, all I'm going to do is take it inside, show you the packaging, talk a little bit more about it. Then we're going to come back out here. I'm going to vape on it some more, talk about it, and I'm going to give you my final thoughts on the NI200 nickel coils for the Aspire Triton. Anyway, let's take it inside and uh, check out these coils. All right, so here is the packaging. Uh, you got Vapor, Atlantis, and Triton, so it is backwards compatible with the other series of the Aspire's sub-tanks. NI200, organic cotton. Then you have a little uh, blueprint of the coil enlarged on the cover then you have the ohms of the nickel head and they also have 0.25 ohm nickel heads i went with the 0.15 because i like to have a hotter vape um the back you've got some other websites uvapor aspireusa.com and a little make sure you use temperature controlled device thing and that's it there's nothing on the inside whatsoever just a uh, plain box but um, <clears throat> you get five of these I have one right here I'll open it up for you real quick let's take it up close and focus okay you have those big open juice channels four of them I don't know the exact diameter but they're nice big juice channels you also have that red ring to identify that it's a nickel head and then you have those big airflow holes on the bottom. You've also got that nice wide airflow channel going up through the middle of the coil. Again, I don't know the diameter. But um, I've been running these at 500 degrees and no issues whatsoever. Let's take it back outside, talk on it a little more, vape on it a little bit more, and close it up. So yeah, that was the close-up on the NI200 nickel coils for the Aspire Triton sub ohm tank. And uh, as you can see, this thing puts out.
I got it set at 500 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, 60 joules, 4.6 volts, and 0.13 ohms is what it's reading on this 0.15 ohm coil head. So, uh, yeah, it's a great vape. Let's give you another one. By the way, I have the airflow on the Triton like three quarter way open. It's probably about a good three mils from being fully open. I've had no spit back whatsoever vaping this, which is very awesome. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Anyway, uh, if you uh, have any questions on anything that I left out, feel free to ask down below or feel free to email me if you have any requests. Anyway, this is Vaping Monkey, and like always, keep your cotton wet. And until next time, see you later.